Hey, hey, what is up, YouTube? I thought I'd better make this video because if you're in the States, on Monday is when we do our live drum lesson or some type of live lesson. Um, and it's a Tuesday, New Zealand time. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd better make this just to explain why there is going to be a gap in this week's live lesson. Hopefully not a gap next week. But sure enough, fell victim to the mighty vid we've had it ravaged through our house for the week. I've been teaching online for a couple of days and um, yeah it's hit me now so I've tested positive so hopefully going to be over it soon but uh, isolating at home so we can't really go out. I've just popped out get some good audio in the car and <laughs> so just to explain that uh, luckily I did record a couple of um, videos so there's going to be plenty of content still coming out but no live lesson I just don't want to be coughing and spluttering all through the live lesson <clears throat> and uh, one other thing I was going to share with you guys I don't know how many people out there listen to the Tim Ferriss show the uh, podcast it's uh, how would you even explain it it's kind of life stuff it's um, I don't know fitness finance um, motivation it's um, but not in a cheesy way it's, it's it's really good I'm sure most of you would have heard of Tim Ferriss um, a recent episode on the Tim Ferriss show was with uh, Morgan Housel, a finance guy, and they brought up something that explained perfectly something that I've talked to plenty of drummers about and um, thought about so much and wondered about so much myself. They kind of articulated it really really well now I'm not going to be able to articulate it as well as they did but bas the basic theory or the basic thought concept was that you're better off not trying too hard now I know it's going to sound funny and we're all taught to um, you know do our best give everything 110% you know don't leave anything on the court and uh, is that really the right way to go about things? And they gave the example of Carl Lewis, the um, famous American athlete, sprinter. Um, and they analyzed him, not Morgan Housel. He was talking about another study. <laughs> they were talking about another study on the show. And uh, what they found when they analyzed him, you know, why he was such a good sprinter was that at around about, I think it was at the 40 meter mark or 45 meter mark of the 100 meters, they couldn't they couldn't distinguish anything that was different about him and the competition but he, he just kept winning and then it dawned on them that you know what he's not doing anything the fact that he's not doing anything he's not changing anything where you know the other sprinters might be starting to look around push a little bit more strain um, you know all kinds of strange things happen to your body to your muscles lactic acid I don't know uh, tendons you know when you're straining not to mention just your face and everything and um, they found that he remained completely calm and didn't change anything and that was what that was the difference between him and everybody else was that he just powered on through and um, kept going and I thought this is so much like drums it is not even funny I remember being in a session oh, a long time ago, probably one of the first sessions I ever did, maybe 20 years ago or more. And uh, the engineer said something really curious that I've thought about a lot. He said, we always record the first take. Now, what's happened, I think what he was getting at was... There might be a little bit of magic in that first take. You actually haven't had time yet to get nervous. You're just going in and you're playing. You're sort of playing on instinct. And you're probably going to get really good results that way. So I think the magical formula, and this is something that I tried to talk about with, tried to talk about, I did talk about with Aaron Edgar on my podcast, the NZ Drummer podcast, is, uh, you know, peak performance for drums. Getting in the zone how on earth do you get in the zone what is the formula for getting in the zone maybe the formula is to aim for 85 percent so you just remove that entire layer of pressure and stress 
off your mind, off your body, and you're not striving for perfect. No one's perfect. Um, you're striving for pretty good. Hey, let's just relax. Let's just play. I mean, and the other, the flip side of all this is, are you really going to play better by really, really drilling yourself and doing 5,000 takes? I mean, I've always found beyond two or three takes, well, I try and get things in one, but beyond two or three when I'm recording drums is I diminishing returns, like my results actually start getting worse. And then I start second guessing myself, especially if I'm in a studio, you know, I might start feeling a bit self-conscious or, you know, maybe that's a character flaw for me, but I just thought it was just a brilliant analogy and it explains so much about drums and actually about life. People who are just really calm in their skin, really comfortable in their skin, sorry, and just calm and uh, not trying too hard not forcing things you know we've all been around that person at a party or um i don't know anywhere where they're just comfortable they're just comfortable to be around they're not trying to be anyone and um it just makes a world of difference so yeah i just thought i'd share that with you guys <clears throat> it's on the tim ferris show and it's the a recent episode maybe two or three episodes back or maybe the re most recent one i'm not sure with morgan housel Try to make things 85%. Try and try and hit that 85% mark. And forget 100. Forget perfection. Yeah, in drums, I really don't think it adds anything to go for 100%. Um, I personally, when I'm recording, you would have seen my covers and stuff. Those are all basically first take. So that's not to sound clever I put the work in before I try I, you know I'll try and do my best to get it really really good but then when it's time to record or I think oh I'm gonna have to record that song today <clears throat> I'll just walk in and not think about it too much just put it on make sure everything's actually working and and the plumbing of my DAW and everything is right and um just just play and not worry too much about anything and if it doesn't work that's okay we have another go but yeah it's just um i thought it was just a fascinating concept and i really hope to i would love to hear your feedback on it if it makes as much sense for you as it did for me it was just a massive light bulb i just thought that's it they've nailed it that is the zone plenty of preparation and hard work you do you do all that before it's like that iceberg analogy um you know we've all seen that picture of you know rehearsals and then the show and you know the body of the iceberg is the rehearsals and the practice and the hard work and the training and then the show what people actually see is just that little little teeny bit up the top and that's i think the way it should be you just go out there you relax you let your skill and your practice take over and um, just believe in yourself that yeah the work's been done and whatever comes out now, whatever flows out now, it is what it is. It just is what it is. I don't think that's to say, you know, don't be warmed up or, or don't, I don't know, take things too casually. I don't, I don't think that's, that's right. But there's just a very, very fine balance. And the 85% rule, I'm going to call it that. I don't know if that's what they call it. But this 85% rule, I think, just nails it sun is setting it's really nice out here i came out here because the car provides really good isolation and i've got young connor running around in the house um, he's recovered now so he's tearing the house up asking for food <laughs> those kids in their catch up eating i tell you um so yeah I, it probably looks like I, i'll be fine doing a live lesson today but um now having a bit coffee and um yeah house is a absolute dog's breakfast and people coughing and spluttering in there so um i thought i'll, I'll just um i'll can it and i'll share this really cool thing with you guys so i hope it resonates with you i hope you got something out of it and um yeah here's to getting healthy and uh oh my god getting back to work work has just been teaching i'm talking about has been crazy three years of it and hold me to this i know there's a big um us viewership on my channel i can tell that from the analytics i'm dying to get back to the states 
So I, I really want to do that. And uh, who knows, maybe even do a few catch-ups if, if that's a thing. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm famous enough to organize a, a catch-up overseas, but I think that'd be really fun. Um, yeah, just uh, thinking out loud now before the sun goes down and before it's time to get back to the, uh, to the my corona madness. But um, yeah, so yeah, apologies that no live lesson today. But um, I'll book it in for next week at our regular time, and I will see you there. Take care. Have a good one. Ciao.